What is up guys? Welcome back to another video. So my name is Sebastian Georgiou and in this video I'm going to tell you guys about the 2.6 million dollar dream house that I am building. As some of you guys know I've been teasing this house for a long time because I started this project in February of 2021. Uh, it's been almost 10 months since I've gotten to this point and we're actually just about to start construction in about two weeks right before my birthday. So I'm super excited to give you guys a full update on this video how I got here, what I did before I got to this house, how much money it's gonna cost me, how much I'm probably gonna sell it for. All of that is coming right now, stay tuned. Okay, so let's start at the very top. Why $2.6 million? Where am I getting that absurd number from? Now the house isn't even built yet, so how could I possibly get an accurate appraisal or selling price for the house? Well, I put some images up of the renderings of the house and I got a full cash offer within the first two days for $2.6 million, which was my listing price. But I didn't take that offer because again, I just wanna build this house. I probably wanna live in it for some time. And also I see the real estate market in Arizona continuing to grow because so many people are moving here. Shout out to Jerome Powell for absolutely scaring the crap out of everybody in this country uh, and driving the price of everything up. So that's really cool. Shout out to you, my man. A lot of you guys know that I'm 22 years old for like a couple more weeks. I'm turning 23 in January, but 22 years old, building a $2.6 million house. That is not very common. So how did that happen? A lot of you guys already know this, but I started out with drop shipping, building brands, and then I got on YouTube and then I started doing sponsorships. And I've overall had a lot of hustles. I have a marketing agency now. And basically with all these businesses that I've started and ran, I've saved my money as, as well and as invested my money as well as I possibly could um, and then finally got to the point where last year I was able to buy a townhouse and flip it. So last year during COVID, when everything happened, I bought a townhouse for three hundred and nine or three hundred and four thousand dollars or something like that because it was super outdated. It was super ugly and it was in a very nice community in a very nice area. And other townhouses in the community were selling for like four hundred grand. So I was like, OK, I'm going to pop in here. I'm going to fix this place up and sell for four hundred grand. So that's what I did. I bought it. And then me and my brother went in there and me and my brother did literally most of the work doing tiles and putting floors in and learning all of these trades with my brother, who is like a certified contractor um, and my other brother and some friends. We made it absolutely beautiful. And then when it was all said and done, when it was all finished, uh, we cleaned it up and put it on the market and it sold like within the first week for $411,000, which was over 105-ish K more than what I bought it for. So once you take out the renovations and the real estate and taxes fee, I ended up walking away personally with like thirty to $40,000 profit on my first real estate deal ever, which was Crazy. I'll never forget that as long as I live. Real estate has been my dream since I was young, like a kid. Ever since I discovered Graham Stephan, shout out to Graham Stephan, I wanted to get into buying homes, renovating homes, flipping homes, because just the idea of before and after, making something ugly and then beautiful and then like selling it to somebody that really appreciates it, you know, especially when it comes to something so big as like a custom home, it's almost like you're creating a master art piece and then like it's taking you all this time and money and then you're like, hey guys, here's my art, here's what I've built and some couple comes along or some family comes along and they're like, this is freaking beautiful, dude. Like, good job. Here's $3 million. And you're just like, all right, bet. That was fun. I had a great time. I'm going to do it again. So it's always been my dream to kind of get into real estate design and build my own real estate. Like eventually one day I want to build like my own apartment complex. I want to have like a residential skyscraper in downtown of some city and like have like a big G on it or something far away dreams, but that is where I want to get to in my life eventually. That's why I decided to take a big leap of faith after I flipped my first townhouse and buy land and get into development. So as soon as I sold my townhouse, I bought land in an upscale neighborhood in Scottsdale, Arizona for $120,000. So I just bought it cash. And then I met with a GM or general manager, and he connected me with an architect and a civil engineer. And we went back and forth with ideas. So all of this started with like Pinterest and Instagram and like other houses I saw on the side of the road, took it to the architect. And then he came back out with this. And then I was like, okay, let's change this. Let's change that. And then back and forth for a couple of weeks, we finally got a floor plan that I really liked. That was really cool. I liked the design. And we were like, all right, let's take it to the HOA and let's start working with them. Now, HOA, probably the slowest HOA in human history where I'm building my house. So that's super convenient. But we had to go back and forth with the HOA for like the last 10 months 
just getting everything approved slowly. So it started with floor plans, and then they asked us for like a very, very raw preliminary 3D mock-up. So then we made that. And then finally, like once it came time to like pick the color of the home, like literally the, the color of the travertine in the back and like the, the style of the driveway and all of these like little intricate details, we had to pick that up. And I like remember going through the brochure and doing all this crazy stuff. But finally we picked that, sent it, and then they would be like, okay, you can't do this. You have to do this and change that. We'd make all the changes, send it back, and then they respond. And finally, all of that time for the last 10 months have, has come to this point right now where they have finally said, you're good to build. So go ahead and start. And that's going to happen in about two weeks. So I'm ready. I've been waiting for a long time, and I'm sure everybody else on the channel is ready as well. Fast forward a little bit of time, buying that land ended up being a really smart investment because like I said, I bought it for $120,000 cash. And recently I got it reappraised because we're getting ready to start construction. And the appraisal came back at $190,000 almost double, like not quite close, but close to double of what I paid for the land. Uh, and it hasn't even been a full year, which is absolutely bonkers. Again, shout out to my boy, Jerome. So let's talk about the cost of this project. You guys already know that I already got a full cash offer for $2.6 million. Now I'm going to live in this house. I'm probably going to chill for a while, probably going to sell it for 2.8 to $3 million. But how much is it going to cost me? When it's all said and done, I'm probably going to spend around $1.3 million at the absolute most to build this house. And so if you're able to do some simple math, if I were to take the offer that I had on the table right now, I would be able to make about $1.3 million like that. Well, not quite like that because it's been 10 months, but I could just sell it right now and make $1.3 million. And that's before all the taxes and the fees. So, you know, that number is going to be a little bit lower, but that's still a crazy number. And I just wanted to be completely transparent and show you guys that not only is this possible at a young age, but anyone can get into this. Anyone can do this. All you need is just some good people, some good connections and the right amount of capital. And you can also get into this and do this yourself. So I just want to broadcast this to the world. The IRS is literally going to be at my door tomorrow morning. So that being said, I require everybody watching this right now to like the video because I'm going through the trouble of putting all this out for free and, and exposing myself in this deal and everything. So at least leave a like. It's completely free and, and why not, honestly. So my ideas for the future of this project is to create YouTube videos like vlog videos where I actually go to the land and I have somebody filming me and I'm talking about what we're doing that day or what we're doing this week. And I'll show you guys like, the actual process of this house being built and I'll do the cost breakdown and I'll show you everything. You know, here are some things that went wrong. Here are some things that were more expensive, less expensive. And we'll just go from A to Z together on this channel because we haven't started building yet. We're about to, but I could post a video like once a week on an update to the house until it's done. And then I could post like a final video where it's like sold and like, here's the check, here's the profit. And then you guys could all see it for yourself and then go and start building your own house. I don't know, but I think that the content would be a combination of like inspirational, um, educational, especially that, and then even entertaining. So if you guys want to see that, please like leave a comment, send me a DM on Instagram, send me a letter in the mail, do whatever you want, but let me know that that's what you want to see. Because as I move away from drop shipping and e-commerce and stuff like that, uh, and get more into financial stuff and real estate and marketing agencies and Google ads and NFTs. Like I need to know what kind of content you guys want me to post. So I think this would be a crazy series um, and I would love to do it. That being said, I have nothing else to say in this video. Like, subscribe, watch the whole video, share it with your grandma, play it on the TV, and I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.